Okay, so it has been a little while since I vlogged, but I am here to get you all caught up and bring you the third video in my 12 Days of Vlogmas series. Okay, so where did we leave off? I'm pretty sure it was either like the first or second week of November. I think it was November 8th. I do have some vlog footage. I did start a second vlog in November, but then things happened. I went back to work um, and I just, you know, I didn't finish the vlog. So I'm gonna insert whatever vlog footage I have right now and then we'll, we'll come back here and I'll fill you in on all the stuff that happened since then. Till now. So today is November 8th. It's about 10 a.m. I have my breakfast here. I'm gonna eat that while I watch some Kitty Wismer vlogs. If you watched my last vlog, I think I mentioned I've just been like binging Kitty Wismer vlogs. I'm like gorging myself on Kitty Wismer content. I've latched on. So today I've decided it's gonna be an amazing day. Okay, I woke up this morning and that's already amazing. And I had a decent sleep and that is incredible. So we're gonna have a good day today. It's gonna be full of productivity and just, you know, good vibes, high vibes, okay? I am working on my bathroom deep clean today and I feel good about it. I think I'm gonna be able to do it in a couple hours. It's not gonna take nearly as long as my bedroom did. So I'm gonna get that done today. I'm gonna go grocery shopping today and I just love food. So that's always really exciting for me. And I actually did a food sensitivity test a couple weeks ago. So a lot of the things that I'm eating have changed, which is a good thing and also a little bit of a bad thing because turns out a lot of the food I really loved and was eating um, my body doesn't quite tolerate and I knew I mean I knew a lot of them and and luckily a lot of the things were also things that I, I didn't really like or I don't really eat like uh, beef was up there dairy scotch was up there so yeah I had to kind of change up my diet a little bit to help with at least the gastrointestinal ailments I've been having lately so we'll see how that goes and I, I just love food so I like trying new things and switching things up and I also have a live stream scheduled for 1130 today which I'm really excited about. I'm more excited than nervous. Like I'm definitely nervous, but last time I was way more nervous than excited. And this time around, I'm more excited than nervous, which is, I, that's growth. I like that. I like that for me. Okay, now I'm gonna eat some breakfast and then I'm gonna get ready for the live stream. All right, it's 11.08. I have a little bit of time before my live stream. I've cleaned up a little bit, like the kitchen. I don't think the live stream is gonna go that long. I'm only planning on doing two 25 minute sprints with a little bit of chatting in between and at the beginning at the end. Yeah, I don't wanna spend too long on the stream because I do still need to do my bathroom deep clean. I don't think it'll take more than three hours, but I do wanna get as much of my, you know, cleaning and errands done while while it's still light out because now that the sun sets at like 5 p.m. I definitely I feel like I start to shut down when it gets dark and then as soon as I'm done deep cleaning the bathroom I'm gonna immediately go to the grocery store and I might go to Walmart now I don't really know why I don't think I actually need anything from Walmart but you know when you're in that mood where you're like I just want to walk around Walmart or you know Target we don't have Target here anymore but um, you know you just want to kind of go walk around Walmart or like HomeSense maybe I'll go to HomeSense sense. I don't know. Maybe. No, I, I shouldn't. I don't have money. I really shouldn't. This is why I'm in debt. Anyway, I have about 15 minutes before my live stream, so I'm gonna just kind of get ready, set things up, make sure everything is good to go. Okay, so the first thing is I did manage to finish my apartment deep clean. I didn't quite finish it the weekend before I started working it on the 15th, but I finished it by the end of the week. So I, it's a done. I, it's dirty again. Like am I, uh, it's like messy again. I've definitely, I definitely need to clean clean it again, but the deep clean and the reorganization is done. So I went back to work on November 15th and it was really nice to be back at work and to be back at work with like my best friend. Like my best friend is my boss, my boss is my best friend. It's, it's a good time. You're just like going to work and hanging out with your best friend all day. So it was a lot of fun. I have a little bit of footage from the first day. I did not vlog the rest. Like I vlogged the first day and I was really excited. I was like, yeah, I'm going to vlog, you know, us kind of doing some work here and stuff. And then I just didn't vlog anymore because I was just so tired all the time. But I do have some footage and yeah, so that's our lockup. Uh, it's a, you know, it's a big space. It's mostly just just filled with bins and things, but it's a good time. It was, it was a lot of fun going through all of our stuff. We had a lot of stuff to go through and a lot of stuff that we were trying to get rid of. So we were able to donate a lot of things and um, 
it was good. But I was just so tired every day. I would come home from work around like 7.30, 8, depending on what time we'd leave and how traffic was. But um, yeah, I'd, I'd get home roughly by 8 every day and I'd just be so tired. I'd like watch a couple episodes of Forensic Files or something and then just go to sleep because I was just so exhausted. So in terms of how the rest of NaNoWriMo went and where I'm at with Ben, I didn't do any more writing for Ben for the rest of the month. I just, I, no. There was no, after, once I started work, there was like, no more NaNoWriMo, no more writing. So I ended up getting, I think, only 2,085 words for the whole month. Not great, but there at least there were some words, some words written. And as far as where I'm at with Ben, I have not budged. I am still on chapter four. I'm on scene three, the second last scene in chapter four. These chapters are just taking forever. And it also, I mean, it, it obviously takes a lot longer when I'm not actually doing any writing. <laughs> and in total for the manuscript, I am sitting at 27,000 and like 38 words. That seems like so many words for no, like chapter four, for like four chapters and an and a prologue, but that is so many words and yet I've written nothing. How is that possible? I don't really know how it's possible, but that's my, that's my reality currently. I'm really excited to get back into some Ben work. I'm also really excited to get back into working on my secret project because I also have not been working on that. Um, I think I worked on it like a couple days in November and then one day like last week. Not, not a lot. I haven't been making a lot of progress in any of my, you know, creative projects. So did not complete NaNoWriMo, did not get a lot of writing progress done in November and I finished work on December 3rd. Now December 2nd was a super exciting day for me. I, ooh, I was able to go to my first concert since COVID started. And not only was it my first concert since COVID started, it was my first time seeing this band who's like a new, they're a new band that I kind of got into a couple months ago in, in like June, I think, June, July, I got into this band and I just became obsessed with this band. Like I just, I love this band so much. They're called Ice Nine Kills. I love them so much. So I saw that they were playing in December and this was back in October and I bought the tickets and I was like, oh, this is gonna be such a good time. So I ended up going to the show and it was, so much fun oh my god it was so much fun it was like so fun to just be at a concert again and, and you know watching people play live but it was so good to see this band live So I went with my buddy Dan and I hadn't seen him since. I hadn't, like, we hadn't hung out in like eight years. We didn't talk for like six of those years. So um, we recently reconnected, but it felt like we just like fell right back into, it's like we, it's like no time had passed and we had, we just like fell right back into it. And it was such a good time. And we met up with another friend of mine and his friend. And then we went to a bar and just like had, like it just felt so normal and fun and like not like there was a pandemic going on. Um, and it was, it was, it just felt so good. I was honestly on cloud nine that night, okay? And then, of course, I woke up on Sunday morning. So that was the Thursday, and then I woke up on Sunday morning and I had ear pain, like really bad ear pain. Um, and I've had this type of pain before, so I, was, I wasn't too concerned. I was like, it'll, it'll go away in like a day or two. And then the next day I woke up and I had a sore throat and I was like, mmm. Things are happening. This seems very sinusy, head coldy. So um, yeah, I m Monday morning came and I was like, mm, okay, I think I might be 
catching a cold of sorts. So a couple days passed and it, the ear pain was not going away and I even went to the walk-in clinic and she was like, no, your ears look great. And I was like, okay, well, I'm in pain. So I've been just kind of taking, you know, over-the-counter stuff and I'm starting to feel better. I'm definitely on the mend, but you can probably hear I'm a little bit nasally. I think in the next couple days, it'll be completely gone and I'll be back to 100%, you know? And that brings us basically to today. Today is December 11th. It's about 1.30 right now. I think I'm gonna go for a drive. I think I'm gonna go for a drive. And then when I get back, I'm gonna do some yoga. Oh, that's another thing. I started doing yoga daily again. I started on Monday and it feels so good. Like, why did I stop doing yoga? You know what it is? I get into a routine and then if I like, if something messes me up, I have to break routine. It's so hard for me to get back into it. But I didn't realize just like how tight everything was. Like everything was so tight. I don't understand how I live my life and why everything is so tight but it's felt really good to um just kind of breathe and and stretch and just be present in the moment it's been feeling really good so i'm really excited about that and yeah i mean the last couple days i've mostly been trying to edit i've been focusing on editing i have two videos filmed already that are for my 12 days of vlogmas Thing. And yeah, I've just been working on editing those because those are the next couple that are gonna come out And then I just I mean I just got a vlog I haven't been vlogging all that much and giving you guys, you know day-to-day -day updates on things I just really need to do some Ben work. Okay I still very much want to finish this draft before I go back to work and I don't have an exact date for work But it's like sometime mid-january, so I don't have all that long I don't have all that much time before I go back to work again to finish this draft So I want to get as much Done. I just need to I just need to do it. I just need to focus. I just need to do it And I really want to use these vlogs as a way to stay accountable and just like really get as much work done as I possibly can So, okay, so I think we're all caught up. We're all up to date. So right now I'm gonna go for a drive I have been kind of going through some emotional and mental stuff the last couple days And I really just want to take some time to think about it and meditate on it and just you know clear my head a little bit So, um, i'm gonna do that driving always always helps with that so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of that today and then when I get home I'm gonna work on more editing and some other administrative things that I gotta do let me know how you're doing I feel like I've been so disconnected lately I don't know like not vlogging has really I don't know I feel weird when I don't vlog like I just feel like there's just this weird disconnect like when I'm not vlogging and when I'm not talking you know about what I'm doing and what I'm going through it's kind of like life isn't really happening um so yeah I've missed you let me know how you're doing let me know how nano went for you let me know how your December is going it's already like in two weeks it's Christmas that's insane like that's insane time is moving so quickly and yeah so thank you so much for watching and if you got to the end of this video comment down below stay gold because you are golden and yeah I'll see you in the next one